Here is a Selenium WebDriver test case for a sample booking, a flight booking site. Before I talk about debugging test scripts, let me kick off the test execution first. It will be run in a new Firefox window. Debugging is a term mostly used by programmers, that is, analyze and remove bugs in code. In the context of automated test scripts for websites, debugging, if my, I may still use this term, is to find out test steps are not working expected. For example, cannot locate a button to click or check if a text on a page is not correct. Now back to our sample test. The test failed on line 36, and this is obvious. The pay button is now changed to pay now. We can just simply change the test case here and run right from the beginning. But there's a better way. I can just run the remaining test cases, test steps against current browser window. Here's how I do it. We select remaining test steps and right click and run them. Okay. Okay, it still failed. Now we change the button to pay now. Now the button is clicked. Okay. It fails on assertion. You might notice this is an Ajax core, so we need to wait for a certain number of seconds. So we can use uh, our web spec. We'll wait for 10 seconds to check for this one. Okay. And run again. Oh, the operation finished, but seems our task still trying to verify text. Okay, the reason? Our text is in HTML markup mode, so it's not what we see on the text view. Let's see, select. Here is the text we want to do assertion. Okay. Now we run the test again. Now it passed. Okay. So now we, what we can do now is copy these two lines and back to our original test script and paste it back. Okay. Close this browser and we can run this test again. Okay. Now a uh, trigger of trigger of an Ajax operation and passed. Good. And this also works for Chrome too. Okay. Now, now we change the browser to be Chrome. This time I will do run in TestWise Pro Edition. You can run the test steps on t up to certain line. See, we do. Line 29. It will start a Chrome browser. Okay. It stopped at uh, 29 waiting for us. We, we can continue, or this time we decide to debug this page. We stop the test execution. And we can just select this line and run against the third browser. It enter test here. While we're here, we can do some more stuff. For example, we can display current page element control details here. For example, this element is displayable. Also, 
we can change our test script type clear and change it to SSK manager. Let's run. 